Good morning, everyone. It's Mary Jo Snyder. Welcome to MJ Shady Inkers. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and you are watching me live, hopefully, here on my MJ Shady Inkers group. I'm going to try and play around for a minute while other people pop on. Um, welcome this morning. Hi, Bonnie. I'm going to try and play around to see if I can copy and paste the link to this to my page. Otherwise, I'm going to have to... Um, check with, hi Terry, check with uh, one of my techie friends to see if she will be able to assist me in figuring out how to now share from your group to your page because pages have changed and it's really got my mind all crazy. So let me go here on my iPad to find my information. I'll, I'll explain the whole thing that's going on with me. Um, once I get to this point, let's go to my group, see if I can share, copy link, go to my page, and we're going to hope this works. I'm not sure it's going to, but it's always worth a try, right? Um, it's really weird that um, I can get here. All right, there is my group. It looks so different to me. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's not letting me. It's letting me get there, but it's not letting me. Okay, let's go to pages. Let's go here. I can, wow. It really is not letting me do this. This is mind boggling. It won't let me add from my iPad. I'm so frustrated right now. But I'm not going to keep going through this. It's um, definitely um, crazy. Just bear with me another second. I wanna try one other thing. If I go in here. Um, you guys still seeing me? Hi, Terry. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, those that I've missed at the moment. So I see myself there. I want to, yeah, it's really not letting me do that. So I'm going to have to inquire. It's kind of a bummer, to be honest, because... I like to always share over there because um, it should do it automatically, to be honest. It's so, it's it's a little frustrating. Oh, okay, let's see. I got, I'm in there, so let's see what happens. I'm going to paste the link. Boom, there it is. I don't know how it came up. Let's publish, post. Might take a minute, but there I am. So hopefully people over on my page can also follow along. All right, so now back to my group. I'm going to get this all squared away so that I can see your comments. Sorry that took so long, but with these changes that continuously happen with Facebook, um, it has to. we have to end up rearranging our own um, mindset to figure out what to do to accommodate those changes. So um, we are finally going to play with this Glad We're Friends stamp set. I'm loving the Corgi. One of my dream dogs to sometime own. Sometime. <laughs> There's guinea pigs. Yes, we have those too. Oh, and look, queen cat. Hmm. That's cute. <laughs> Love it. So I have a ton of stuff all cut out from the um, beautiful shape dies, which I'm going to share with you. This is not a bundle. I just thought, wow, these would be cute to create some fun cards. Um, and I'm going to maybe do a couple other things. Um, I have nothing planned. It's all on the fly, but I'm going to use some of these elements. We'll see with the way that I feel how far I get. Um, I'll go for two cards, hopefully three. Um, but it depends on timing and it depends on voice. So I am going to just stop talking at this point and, oh, thanks, Bonnie, um, point you down to my work area 
and oh, wow the sky is like so beautifully blue I know it's gonna be a nice day today I wish I could get out there anyway okay so we're going to point you down and share some fun stuff I hope that will inspire you to get this awesome stamp set the stamp set I don't even know how much it costs but it can't be it, it's probably under $25 so it's definitely one that you could afford and it's got cute little um cute little puns and and cute little um critters and all that stuff so hold tight let's take a look at what we're gonna create today of course I'm focusing on the in colors I'm absolutely in love with them um and obviously with me just starting to do videos again hopefully on a consistent basis um I really want to um take a moment to really represent these colors I need to get my cord out of the way and get myself situated so that um you are in a good position so bear with me for the movement not so bad right we can zoom in a little hi wendy and just over a little bit more my business card if you want this information um, just to do a screenshot and zoom in. There's also information on the back of other sites, Stampin' Up! logo, but that is my um, branding. So, so there we are. It's awesome that, uh, <laughs> isn't it awesome? So these are the dies. Of course, this is the stamp set. Let me get a closer look that way. The dies that I'm using actually carried over and these are the um, Beautiful Shapes dies. And I didn't get to use them a lot because when they came out, um, I just wasn't crafting as much as I'm going to be now. So, and be sure to leave comments. I have a prize. Um, it's something that a customer ordered by accident, so I replaced it with something else. And it's something that I don't use too often. Um, I have a prize of the Fine Tip Glue Pen that I'm gonna to give to someone, and I'm gonna toss in the paper pumpkin block and the Knight of Navy ink spot. So that's Prize Patrol. Leave comments, share the video. If we're not friends on Facebook, make sure if you're sharing that you put in the comments that you've shared so that I know that you shared as well, and um, you'll go into the drawing. I will draw before my next video, which I'm going to announce a consistent day of the week when I will be doing a video. Yes, I am creating a schedule for myself. I used to do Sunday Lives with MJ. Um, today, I happen to be home because I have not been feeling well. So I'm recuperating. Um, short story, I went to the ER. I do not have COVID. I don't have the flu. I have a really bad UTI and upper respiratory infection. So I am on heavy antibiotics and have been since Friday. Um, I literally did my video to share the catalog with you guys and I went and laid down and was shivering massively. And I called my doctor's office. They did a telephone, a conference call with me, my doctor who I absolutely love, who I need to tell that he can never retire because he has been the best person to take care of me since he's the one that figured out I needed my gallbladder removed way back when. So anyway, enough of that. Um, but these are these awesome shapes. So I spent a couple of my lunch hours during work um, last week, the few days that I was at work before taking a long break, which was supposed to be a vacation, staycation. Um, and I ended up being sick for most of it, except with the exception of cleaning the basement. I did have a fever that day, but I, I knew that I didn't have COVID. I took plenty of tests. Um, and again, I was tested again at the hospital for COVID, the flu, for strep. Um, they did a chest x-ray uh, to make sure I didn't have pneumonia. And of course, a urinalysis and upper respiratory is what it is. And all that fun women, you know. UTI stuff is not fun, but I'm telling you, when you have a bad one, it really throws you for a loop. My temp at the highest was 102.2, and my doctor says, your temp would never be that if you had COVID. So that was reassuring. <laughs> and I've had all my shots and my boosters, so I hopefully have enough COVID antibodies or, you know, things to fight COVID um, that I would never end up getting it, knock on wood. Um, let's hope and pray. 
Um, actually, I pray for it every day to never get COVID. Uh, but anyway, enough of that. Um, these are these awesome shapes. There's so much you can do with them. Um, but these are the circles are the ones that I that I decided to use and you can see on the circles they leave um, the bigger one leaves like a little embossed swirl in a sense. So I'm really excited. We're going to play around with these die cut images. I also took some time to cut out some other stuff, but I'm not sure I'm going to use them. Um, we will see. I'll just leave them where they're at for now and we will see what I can do with this. But that corgi is so stinking cute. So let's let's go ahead and see how we can incorporate some of this. But you know, you gotta use every color. Every color in the, um, so we'll grab these. Um, so I'm gonna use the big one of this. And I might even use more than, like I could grab, uh, let's do a couple of these. Or you can do a monochromatic card, which we could end up doing as well. Let's do this. I'm gonna grab a different, um, I don't wanna use the same color, we need some of these. So I'll grab, wow, my fingers don't wanna work. Um, this one and this one. We probably don't need all of these, but we'll see what will fit on the card that I have in my head. I definitely want all the colors of the little dots. So we have all those colors, and do I know the names? No. Um, I could probably tell you, I don't have my inks out. Uh, this is a Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Starry Night, an orchid oasis very very tropical feel names so there's that and I think I'll just go with these so this is what I'm gonna go with if I need more I will definitely grab them I'm just gonna push those out of the way so they're there if I need them and we are going to finish putting labels on two of these um, stamps. I was getting them all ready for the day that I was going to go live with you and um, it obviously didn't work out for me to do that. So, um, and I think I've shared with you an easy way to do this is to add the, um, the, the sticker to the block and I might case uh, one of the cards I saw in the catalog. I will do something similar, but I'm not gonna grab the catalog and look at it, but I, I have the image in my head. So I don't know if it's in the catalog or if it's just online in the online store. Actually, I'm gonna leave that on that block because I'm gonna just leave all of these on a block so that I um, have them already. So um, we, can, we can just go crazy. And I have a piece of nail hanging. I was trying to file my nails this morning. They're a hot mess. Um, so I gotta take care of those today. See if I can't do some color street. I have like six things of color street from Jen when she had her party. And I think I'm gonna get with her rep and have a party of my own because I like color street. They're really super easy to put on. Your nails stay healthy. Um, so I, I, I think I might have a party, we'll see. But anyway, right now we're stamping. I'm gonna put all these awesome sentiments and other things on blocks so we have them all ready. You know I'm going to use that cat. Who else is joining me? Um, we got Wendy, Bonnie, both Terry's. I know a lot of people had some other stuff going on today, of course. It's 4th of July weekend. Why wouldn't it be? So I hope that, you know, whoever's not here and catches the replay, I appreciate you and thank you so much for um, joining in. So... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have some fun you guys are just here with me in my craft room and we are going to see what we can do set those over there let's see if this will fit on this block I don't think this will fit on a D block so let me reach over here and grab I believe this is an E and we'll put the corgi on the E block my business card there in case you need some information off of there or you can reach out to me. Again, remember those catalogs, that uh, June and July catalogs will be going in the mail this week to my customers. 
Um, I have to type up some information. I actually need to schedule a location for my um, uh, card buffet, but that might have to be announced later. I'm still trying to get with the vendor um, or the, uh, yeah, the vendor that I want to use for the location. Um, which is Hammond's Port Firehouse, um, but it's just a matter of me getting with them. I thought about branching out and doing it somewhere else, which I may do, and do it for two days. Do it Friday night and all day Saturday, so or a specific time on a Saturday. That way I can um, utilize a different space and maybe more people can come if it's two different times. So, But I'm working on that, and I'm hoping it's going to be in October using new product from the um, July to December uh, mini catalog. So, all right. So I need a piece of basic white, and I think I'm going to um, have to cut this with you because I don't think I cut any of these out. We're going to open this drawer, and this is going to be my, my cardstock little caddy. <laughs> it's nice when I have drawers next to me. I can go ahead and... We can move these aside, and I hope I don't jiggle the camera by doing this um, because I'm setting them on the ledge of the camera. Move over my adhesives. We got coordinating stuff like um, our 2022-24 uh, in color matte decorative dots. We have 2022-24-in-color-matte-decorative-dots-we-have-twine, which I have a super exciting idea with the twine. Those are all the new in colors. It seems like the last video I did, I used the in colors. I'm going to remove my hair tie. I did my hair this morning, but you bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to put my hair up the minute my video is over. <laughs> all right, I'm going to cut a piece of cardstock. Um, this is your regular basic white. It's not the thick basic white. I'm going to cut it five by um, three and three fourths. And then I'm going to take thick whisper white and I'm gonna make myself um, a card base out of thick whisper white since we're using the multiple colors of the designer series paper I totally could grab one of those as the card base but I am going to hold off and do something different so I'm gonna bring this over here I'm gonna move my cutting blade way to the top the darker gray um, kind of color, the darker color, is your cutting blade. You also have, which you can't see right here, a scoring blade. Now, I want my card to flip a certain way, and I'll show you. So I'm going to score this whole sheet at four and a quarter. Again, if you have any questions about anything I'm doing, sharing, hi, Judy, hi, Sandra, thank you for joining. Um, if you have any questions about things that I'm doing or products that I'm using, please reach out to me, put a comment in, um, or private message me or whatever the case is. And again, if you need catalogs, I think I was trying to get to that point, reach out to me if you don't have a demonstrator, because I'd be happy to get a catalog to you. Um, even if you need an annual catalog and you don't have that. So you see, I just made two card bases with that. I actually could make another one of these, so I think I will. So I have those all set and we can kind of get two cards out of the way with um, that concept. So let's see, we'll, actually, we'll, we'll uh, figure this out. So again, this piece is five by three and three fourths. Hi, Marva, good morning. And all right, so we'll keep these two aside for another card. We'll um, take our basic white thick paper and we'll varnish that crease, set that aside. And now I know that I'm gonna need to cut another circle and, um, and that's okay. We can do that with our layering circles if they're nearby because um, I believe they are a carryover item. And I can double check that because I don't wanna use something that, um, is not necessarily. Actually, you know what I'll do? I will use, bear with me, I'll use the same, um, and I'll like layer 
So I'll cut some in white. My fingers don't want to work. And I'll layer. I think that'll look good. Okay. So for now, we're just going to put this, we're going to put all these, these ones down and randomly, just randomly. And they can be three dimensional or they can be, um, however you want to lay them. So I just want to kind of see what I want to do here. Wow. They don't like nails don't want to pick anything up so it's totally going to be like this whole kind of a colorful party going on here and yes you're, you're going to have colors that are going to be close to one another that overlap and and that's okay they can overlap so you can make it look like a bokeh technique in a sense i don't i think i want this over here with that but I'm going to do it in reverse and cover that. I just want to do a simple layout to see what happens. And I don't want to ruin my, my, uh, let's see. Do I want another one of these? Let's do this and this. And then we can add that. So they can overlap or they can just stand alone right? We're just really creating a fun background. And how about that? How cute is that? So we can go ahead now and um, adhere these down. Now that I know where I want them, I'm going to go ahead and grab Tombow because my multi-purpose liquid glue, this will give me a little leeway in being able to move them if I need to. Okay. And I think I'm just going to lay them all kind of um, flat to the surface of this piece of cardstock. And when I was doing this, I kind of had a vision and I'm like, wow, it can be really playful with bright, beautiful colors. Or it can be kind of super crazy, you know? Um, how do I, that's not really what I wanted to say. Um, or it can be not super crazy. You could use different colors that would coordinate with the color of a corgi, like neutrals. Um, and let's kind of overlap those two. Neutrals, um, more subtles that might work with a kitten or a cat. I like that. Hi, Tammy. And, okay, so we want these two. To be, got glue there. Got glue on my finger. This is why Tombow sometimes isn't my friend. <laughs> Hi, Carolyn. Welcome, everybody. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy 4th of July Eve, I should say. Have you guys got any plans for 4th of July? Do you go to parades? Do you go watch fireworks? What is your, what is your typical um, favorite festive thing to do during 4th of July? All right, so we have all these amazing little bubbles on here. I can go ahead and adhere this. Um, but I think I want a border. I think I want a really tiny border to kind of pop this off. Now, when you have white on white, it's always good to um, accentuate the fact that it's the same color on, you know, the same tone on tone. So it's good to use dimensionals to pop that off. And I can, we can do one like that. But you also can take a piece of a coordinating cardstock and a line underneath another layer and layer that down. Now, since this big thing is going to go right here, potentially, or right in the center, I haven't really mapped that out yet, probably right here so you can still see, I don't wanna cover up a lot of the color. So, I should have thought this out a little bit better. I don't wanna cover that one up, so maybe it can go down here a little bit. So um, I think what I'll do for now is just add this to the top layer with dimensionals. So it does give it the um, effect of 
you can tell it's white on white, but obviously, but you can also tell that it's a separate layer. And then we'll do something different with the next card. I just was falling in love with these um, base, these shapes. Um, gotta find them. Beautiful shape dies. I love that the catalogs now have um, dies that are standalone um, that you don't necessarily have, a, have to have a stamp set for it. Now you see that you can definitely tell that that is two separate layers because it gives you that um, popped up you know, space. Now I want these colors to show over here and I don't wanna cover this up because if I go over here, I'm gonna to cover too many of those dots up. The purpose of having this on here is so it's adding it to the overall effect of all the circles. Um, but I still need to cut one out of white. So let's grab our mini boss. That's what we call it. And it's hard to do this sideways. I have glue all over my fingers. I'm gonna grab the layers I need. So I need one and both of the layer twos. We're going to set this in here, layer two. Again, you know that I like to offset these because they slide in better. So I'm going to show you my sandwich. That's funny. I'm going to show you how I'm going to sandwich these. And I think just for the heck of it, I am going to grab a couple, um, do a couple of these so I have them. And I think that's going to be, oh, that's actually a perfect fit. I think I'll do a bigger one too. So I have a couple that I can layer. All right, now with my um, sandwich, you can see it overhangs, but this top layer is going to overhang the other way because it helps it when it needs to feed in. Looks like I need to move that a little bit so that it's going in where I need it. Hi, Barb. Oh, how I've missed all of you. Okay, so we're gonna feed this in here and get a couple of these cut out. I love how that flies out of there. <laughs> and those are a couple of those shapes in basic white. And we'll just put these back in our pack so we don't lose them. And back in our sleeve. Someday I'm gonna use the hexagons in here and make a soccer ball. I think that would just be so cool. All right, we'll get that out of the way and come back to this circle. And I'm gonna stamp, I believe I wanna stamp the little guinea pig on there. How stinking cute is that gonna be? So we're gonna need to do some coloring and that would mean I want to use my Memento Black ink. We're gonna stamp this guy in Memento on this piece of basic white circle. Oh, that's a lot of ink. That's a finger in ink, but I'm gonna use it. I must have just re-inked this and forgot I did that. We'll keep this out because I'll need it, but that's okay. I'm gonna um, set that aside for a minute and I'm going to adhere this on dimensionals so it pops off again. Again, with this type of card, I want it to open this way. With this type of card, um, well, the fact that I'm having something hang off the edge because I still want all these colors to pop out, you want to make sure this doesn't overlap the edge of the, sorry, I'm off screen, um, you, that it, you don't want it to overlap the edge of the card base. So you have to be careful with that because you want it to fit in your envelope. So um, I'm going to add dimensionals to... half of this, and I'm using a lot, sorry. But then what I'm gonna have to do is use mini dimensionals and double up. Because as you see, it's going to come here and I'm gonna need to make sure that it's even with that other layer and mini dimensionals will work wonders right here. So I'm just gonna add a couple and peel that off. Hey you. And we 
are going to <clears throat> then add that to the front of the card. Okay, so you have that that pops up, all these awesome, beautiful in colors that are on here. And we're going to add, after we color, this to the center. But we're going to do something else to kind of make this pop. And we're going to add some more stuff to really wow. The whole wow factor. All right. So, guinea pig. They can be any color. Any color. We have a light brown one. Um, we have a dark. Actually, we have a black one, I believe. Um, again, those of you joining late, this is Prize Patrol. We have a Paper Pumpkin Block, Knight of Navy um, Ink Spot, and a Fine Tip Glue Pen. So share the video. Let me know you shared. Hi, Lori. And um, comment. Make sure you're commenting so that you can go in the prize drawing. And that goes for anyone watching and the replay. Make sure you're commenting as well. Drawing will take place my next video my next <clears throat> weekly scheduled video, which I will announce that day, um, and then it will be consistently every week. If I do not have the opportunity to come to you live, I will be sure that there is a video out there on YouTube, and I will share the link with you so that you have something um, every week to inspire your creativity. That's my goal, and you can hold me to it. I thought the best markers to have were those awesome markers that are like pretty much neutral colors, skin tones, um, that were with that one bundle. Um, and I'm, I want to say some of that stuff is still available, but don't quote me. Um, but I think all of these neutral um, skin tone um, markers are. I'm going to pull out my catalog because I don't want to misquote myself. Because if you can't get your hands on these, I don't want you... Um, getting upset with me. <laughs> um, let's see. I just need to get to the page of blends. Usually they're with the color families. Let's see if it's in here. If anyone's on that is a demonstrator or customer even that knows if these skin tone blends are still available, just jump on and let me know so it's easier than me looking them up because I don't think our books have the little cheat thing of telling me where the blends are and oh yeah it does right there tools storage scrapbooking ink and coloring color collections coloring tools let's try 120 inks 122 sorry for the pause in the creativity Oh, let's see. Are they still available? Hmm. I don't see them in our book. Does anyone know if these are still available? Thanks, Judy. Well, I'm going to hold off using them, I guess, and I'll grab crumb cake because I need to explore if these are still available. I thought they carried over, but I'm not seeing them in this catalog. Wow, I need a drink. And maybe I'm not looking in the right spot, but it paired with that, um... oh, it doesn't matter right now. I, uh... Maybe it did retire. This is why I need to or organize my craft room. They should be, in my opinion. I agree, Bonnie. If they're not, that's sad because we um, we all fell in love with them when they came out. I don't think the stamp set and stuff carried over, but unless it's carrying over to the new spring catalog next um, spring. But. Anyway, we're not going to spend time on that. I'll close this up until I know for sure they're still available. I'll contact demonstrator support. Um, they'll be able to tell me on Tuesday when their office reopens. So let's grab crumb cake. Those are neutrals. And we got some soft suede. And I think I actually might go with soft suede. Um, really tiny um, 
I absolutely, Bonnie. I absolutely agree. So maybe we need to put that in the sandbox. Let them know that it's a necessity for us to have these available for skin colors. So I'll reach out. I'll send an email or I'll make that suggestion if they're not available. I don't know if I'm going to do much blending with this. I started out with the light soft suede and I'm just going to color this little guy. I'm going to leave the center of him white. Coloring is so therapeutic. I almost want to make the bottom of his feet pink. <laughs> All right, but I'll come in with the dark and kind of dot the feet just to give it a little variation in the inside of the ears. Usually the inside of ears are lighter, but how cute is that? Just like that, you got your cute little guinea pig, okay? Now, we are going to add, and I still have to add a sentiment, so I haven't forgot that. Um, I'm going to just adhere him flat to the center of this, but I think what I want to do is add a little bit of twine in the color of the, um, again, that is Orchid Oasis. I want to add some of this, but I'm go I thought about adding it underneath, but I'm going to do something different. So I'm going to come in with this. You probably use about 12 inches of this, maybe 16. I eyeball it, tie a bow, tie it down, actually tie a knot, and then I'll cut it and then I'll finish the bow. That way you're not overusing or having waste. I'll still have a little waste, but that just adds a little bit of pop of color to coordinate. Find the ribbon scissors. And we'll cut this off. I'm gonna take another drink. Have to stay hydrated. How cute is he? <laughs> they don't smell cute, I'm just saying. Love you, Aaliyah. <laughs> Turn this upside down because when I tie a bow upside down, it usually lays the way I want it to. I know I have fans of People, well, I don't want to say I have fans of people that like bows. I have fans of people that don't like bows. How's that? <laughs> you can be a fan of not liking bows, right? That makes sense. Snip that off. There's just a tiny bit of waste there. We're going to add him with, already, Celine, I really need to get my um, act together and make sure I... Your internet is horrible. Oh, Spectrum. Oops. It may be because of... I don't know. I was going to blame the holiday, but I'm not going to. So that's adorable, right? Okay, so let's see. This sentiment, it's guinea be a great day. <laughs> I could have fit that right there had I thought about it. But what am I going to do? I am going to, I don't know. I could just stamp happy birthday on a piece of paper. Let's find some basic white and we'll cut this down. And I'm not going to stamp the whole sentiment. But I'm going to stamp it. I'm not going to use black either. I'm going to use this awesome Orchid Oasis, but I got to move my teeth so I don't spill it. Thanks, Bonnie. All right. I'm just going to cut part of this so I don't need the whole stamp, but because I don't feel like playing around with masking, wow, that's juicy. Juicy! Sorry for the singing. Not really. Ah, oh, sweet! Worked out just like I was hoping, but didn't plan on. So we have happy birthday. 
and I'll clean that off in a bit. I need my paper trimmer. Make sure I don't have ink all over my fingers because I need that piece of paper. I think I already lost a piece of paper. There's a surprise. Um, we're going to cut this at about uh, no, that's too close. I'm going to measure this in a second. Perfect. I believe that is It's a sixteenth. Seven six no, yeah, seven sixteenths of an inch. You probably could do um, three quarter or two or a half inch, but I liked it, and I think it was part of because the way I spaced it. I'm going to angle the ends. like so. So we have our banner, simple, and bring this one back over here and we can add it right there or we can add it right here. I think I like it up there better. So what I want to do is add some adhesive to this. If Celine was here, she really would knock this down on my table because it really works better when it's laying down. She's right. I'm, I, I got to give her credit. She knows her stuff. So there is happy birthday. <laughs> it's so cute. And look what else I get to use. This is turning out so awesome. So who wants it so far? Anyone? Anyone want this stamp set? <laughs> or are you more, more apt to get the dies? Or both? Who knows? Either way, we're not done. We have two more critters to get all excited about. So I'm going to add various dots in different colors and different sizes all over this. Not going to go too crazy, but I want one of each to kind of make this card pop. And we'll do this here. Oops. And then I need, and you see these are um, ombre. You can tell that the they get lighter and darker. So you can definitely use different shades of them. And I think I want a bigger one of this to go right there. So I used the five colors in these dots. How fun is this card? Isn't that adorable? I'm loving it. You could do this as a stamp -a stack You could just have tons of stuff cut out and um, easily make several of these. So there is card number one. Fun, fun, fun. Now let's do card number two. And I have no idea what I'm doing with it, but it doesn't matter. We're going to play. I need my bone folder, which is right in front of me. You probably were pointing at it. It's right there. It's right there, MJ. Increase our card. Ah, thank you. <laughs> so Bonnie wants the stamp set. Well, that only took one card, right? <laughs> Especially if you already have the dies. I mean, the dies aren't coordinating dies, but wow, doesn't it like really do something for you? It did me. I used paper that I shouldn't have, so I have to cut another piece. So with this one, again, we're going to cut this down to the five inches by four. No, nope. five inches by three and three fourths. And we'll do that again. So we have a second, a second one. You can get four pieces of that. Actually, there's probably a way to get more than that. I think that I learned that from um, Rachel Tessman. There's probably a way to get more than that from a piece of paper, but I think I may have cut it wrong. Um, but it could be a different size too, so I'm not sure. Okay, we're going to do the same concept, except this time I'm going to pull in some of this awesome green. 
parakeet party. We know that this is five inches by three and three fourths, right? We're set our card base aside. I'm gonna make this actually, do I wanna use this color? Hmm. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm gonna. I, Cause I had somebody in mind, but that's okay. So what I did was went an eighth of an, an inch bigger than the um, the piece here, which is five by three and three fourths. So I'm making this piece of parakeet party five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Okay, so we got that. And these are gonna layer together and it's just gonna give you a smidge of a border to make that pop. So then you don't necessarily have to lift it off the page because that will separate the two whites from each other. So you won't need dimensionals for that if you choose that you don't want them. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to use, I think I'll use the, um, the Corgi. And I think what I wanna do is, and then we're gonna do the cat. I have a plan for the cat. All right, so the Corgi, I like this. And I think, hmm, where is my mind at with this? I'm trying to think. Do I want to ignore this piece of white? I think I do. Okay, we're gonna do something. This is like, um, Tone on tone stamping. I just had a whole different concept going on. And tone on tone stamping. I'm gonna use I'm Blown Away By You. And this is like a sample, so tone on tone, in the catalog. But I'm gonna do it a different way, okay? I'm gonna come in, I'm Blown Away By You. Do I wanna stamp it straight? I want to stamp it crooked. Tone on tone. Move your cord. I don't know why that's got to be in my way. Seriously. Okay, hold on. We're about to get... Um, wrap this around a few things so that I can try and work here. There goes my hair tie. Okay, I think we're good now. Sorry for the jiggling. All right, so we're going to keep going with this. This might even be a good opportunity for you to use your, um, oh, what do you call it? Positioning tool. Help me. Stamparatus. And again, I'm just randomly, it doesn't matter if the whole world word is there or not, you get the gist. Why is that doing that? Maybe this needs to be re-inked already. That part's going to get covered anyway. Maybe it's just um, not inked good enough. And this, I did see this idea in the catalog. Well, online, in the online store. So I'm sure that it's in the catalog as well. And I'm blown away by you. So there you go. At least you can see it a little bit. We're going to cover part of this. So what I want to do, this is where I used one of those other, I kind of want to stick to the same, I think what I'll do with this other piece that I cut is stamp this, I got it. We got it, it didn't take long for me to think of something. We're gonna move this card out of the way because I don't want it to get ruined. So we can revisit those. I have to take pictures of, the, of those and post them. All right, so um, we have blown away, blown away, and I don't 
don't want to use different shapes. I wonder how much of this would be covered. It doesn't have to be the entire image, but it could be most of it. I think I want to go with just a piece of white. So I'm going to grab a piece of white. We're going to add some cute stuff to it. I'm going to cut this in half. It's already um, three and a quarter by five. So I'm going to cut it at two and a half. That should be plenty size for that stamp. Yep. So two and a half by three and three quarters. Okay, so it will be just shy of the edge of this, but that's okay, because we're gonna do something fun with this. We're gonna ink this up with our Memento, and so that I don't get too much ink on it, but I have good coverage, we're gonna bring it up here so you can see what I'm doing, and ink it this way. Sometimes the bigger stamps, the lined images, I like to stamp, um, I like to see where the ink is being placed. Looks like the mouth and the nose need a little bit more. And see, go from there. Hold that on there so we get enough. Um, the ink soaks into the paper. Now why we use Memento Black ink is because this is a water-based ink and we are using Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol-based, so it shouldn't bleed. It shouldn't make either um, the memento or the um, blends won't run. If you mix alcohol with alcohol, like stays on with Stampin' Write markers, then yes, you would have that issue of the inks running. Make sense? Okay. Now, we've got that. I want to... I still want to find a way to incorporate some stuff, so... Here is a way to do that. We can grab little dots, the little dots. One, we're gonna use what I've cut. I don't wanna grab too many products and have people go crazy thinking they need all this stuff. Um, you know, especially if you're on a limited budget. We all know how much it costs to go get groceries right now. And I'm not even gonna go on a whole nother topic. Just saying, it's not necessary. We're all in the same boat. Same boat, different paddles. That's what I like to say. All right, so we have these. How cute is that? I should make the green one in the center and I'm going to put these on here. So we'll do green. Let's do this. Green and this blue, this blue. This blue. So you're literally making a border with these different colors. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay. Now, the key is to make sure it's going to fit. Oh, how stinking cute is that going to be? Oh my goodness. Where's Julie? She didn't hear me say how stinking cute. Is Julie here? Bonnie, too stinking cute. Oh, I don't want to do this yet. I want to color. Okay, we have to color the corgi. I need to, I think a corgi is kind of the same. It has the brown. So we're just going to grab, I'm, I think I want to do the same soft suede. We'll stick with the same color. So we have um, the light and the dark. So I'll start with the light and we're just gonna kind of blend. I probably should use the other tip. So our corgi. Corgis actually have more of a reddish tone to their hair, if you ask me, but that's okay. I think they're the cutest things ever. There's not really a lot of places that you need to um, use darker. Gosh. 
They're so cute. Usually um, Stampin' Up! their lined images will show you where you need to add one shade versus another, like dark or light. I think I'm just going to continue with the light. And then... Maybe I'll do some blending in the ears so that you can see how that works. And of course the body. So I am just literally using the light soft suede. I don't know if their paws are white. Me, who wants a corgi, I should know this stuff, right? I'm gonna come in and just add a little bit of darker soft suede to where the hair is, maybe the belly area, just around the lines, just to give it a little bit of dimension. Hopefully I don't, my shakiness, go out of the lines. But we always have our um, color lifter, if that's the, like right there, if that's the case. But that's okay. I'll just blend that out. Just kind of going around the lines. Do y'all like to use blends? I know I do. I don't do it enough. Dotting is really a good technique with blends too. See how much that made that stand out, just that one side by adding the darker color? That's so cool. Kind of brought it to life in a sense. So I'm just gonna dot up the side where the lines are, just so it's like giving it a little bit more added texture. Cause that's what I was trying to say earlier. Definitely where the sprigs of hair are into the ear. He's so cute. I'm like a total big dog person. Just saying. Um, it surprises me that I would ever want a Cory because they're so little. But they're so stinking cute. I'm just gonna blend this out a little. It looks too much like I added lines in some of this area. So we'll just blend out, pull those colors together a little bit. There. And then on the inside of the ears, since we have that separation, I will just add the light so you can see the difference because we added the darker on the edges. And I think I'm just going to leave the paws white because I can't remember. I think it's cute. All right, and for the fan, since we have green, we're going to grab our, I say green, our Parakeet Party. You can get blends in every color of the new in colors as well. So we are going to create, um, I'm going to do the base. Is this the dark? Yep. I'm going to do the base of this just by adding little dots. Sometimes it's hard to color in a straight line. So the finer spots that I would want to be darker. I could have colored that with the brush. But this is going to pull in that green, right? But wait. <laughs> the ideas just keep coming. And then I'm going to add the light here to the stand. So it kind of gives it a different tone. Wow, my voice just cracked. And I'll add a lighter here. We will add some Winka Stella to the fan itself because that's not going to have any color. And now we have all these little fun things. So I'm going to grab the lighter. Okay, my tea again is in the way. The lighter of all these colors. And I'm going to... Ta 
tie it all together. Hi, Jane. And I know that I'm probably spending way too much time fussing, but you know what? Am I still live, you guys? I'm all plugged in, right? Yeah, we're still good. I'm spending a lot of time here, but you know what? I've missed it. So I'm going to play. So I'm going to add these colors to each of these. So it's going to tie in when I go to do my border. Again, just dots. And these are the lighter of all the new in colors. I did the green. We've already done our sentiment. These are such happy colors. Oh. Last to his tongue. It should have been pink, but we'll stick with the in colors. He's so cute. Aww. All right. So, carefully, we want to add these. I want to make sure that they are spaced out the way I want them. Here on there. And in the space I want them. That's going to be really stinking cute, I think. So, let's add our adhesive to the base of this. Oh, I moved it with my big old arm. And add this. Shaky. Perfect. Almost. The green is a little lower, but that's okay. And now I am going to pop this up on dimensionals. And more so this section because this is kind of uneven. So what I'll do. I can find them. They're buried under all my stamps. I will put one here because that's pretty even with the page or with the paper. I'll put one here and just kind of randomly everywhere else because, you know, I'm that person. I'm that person that loves dimensionals. Even got my garbage next to me. On the ball, right? Glad that wasn't my drink because that would have just toppled everything over. I'm blown away by you. I'm blown away by you. I'm blown away by you. Hmm. I want to be able to see that. Or, even better, let's do this. We're going to lay this on here. Yes, I know you can't see it. That's okay. We're going to put this on the front of this card. Actually, we'll grab our I'm Blown Away By You stamp, our Parakeet Party ink, and on the inside of our card, we'll stamp the sentiment. I'm going to re-ink this ink pad, I think. I'm blown away by you. So that way you have the full sentiment on the inside of the card if you're not able to read it on the outside. Boom. How perfect is that? All right, now back to the, ins the outside of the card. We're gonna add this just with regular adhesive. Make sure your sentiment on the inside is facing right before you go ahead and add this to the outside. So grab your Tombow, liquid glue, or whatever adhesive you want to use. Flat. And place this where it belongs, which is why I chose Tombow. Okay, 
this. I need it to move it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And one more thing. You can use the ribbon if you so choose. I'm not going to, but I am going to add some of these. And I'm actually going to put them all around here. And I'm going to use the bigger ones. One of each to tie it all in. And looks like a party. There is card number two. So card number one, actually, I think it does need the twine. Card number two, let's grab the twine. Coordinating twine, let's do it. We're gonna leave that one out because that's gonna be the next color I use. Pull that through, cut that off, good to go. And I'll work on screen so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, feels so good to be in here. Very, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I think everybody knows what I was going to say, but we're not allowed to say that. It's something that helps our self-care. It's just, we're not supposed to say that it's, but it does help my mindset. It refreshes me. I don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. You all know what I'm saying. It's a good feeling when you can take time to do stuff like this and be so satisfied and making others so excited about stuff. And that's, it's a, it's a great feeling. All right, so we got that one. And you saw the other one and I'll share the next one let's keep going with these awesome circles all right we have a kitty cat that we need to play with kitty cat a friend like you comes along once in nine lives yeah glad we're friends or you have birthday Growing older is mandatory. Growing up is optional. Happy birthday. But I'm thinking I'm going to put this cat right here on the other white circle. <laughs> I know it's breezy outside, but my rocking chair on my porch next to me, my back patio that I can look out the window is rocking. I don't know if there's a visitor or not. <laughs> Definitely I don't see anyone in it. But, oh, the queen. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Let's bring this back. Let me grab my Wink of Stella. I talked about it, but then I didn't do it. Huh, let's grab it. Hope that it doesn't wreck everything that I did because this one likes to be snotty. I think because I over squeeze. I get to run it out anyway. You have to be careful when you're using um, Wink Estella on water based ink too because it can become, um, it can smear it. You can use it as a paintbrush, a glitter paintbrush. I don't know if you can see the glitter there, but there's some glitter there. It's like glitter paint. So that just adds a little bling to that card. Okay, now back to the queen. I want to do something fun here. I think that I need some... Hmm. Good 
Good for your soul. That's exactly it, Lori. Thank you. All right. We are going to... I'm trying to find the best colors. But I got to stick to those colors. So I might add... I just want to try something on a piece of white paper and see how this turns out. Because that is way red. Not red. It's, um... Sorte. But I want to see if there is a way to lighten it at all. I don't think so. I have to grab a different color. I don't really want to do all that to that color. Um... Ivory. We did use, like, soft suede, so I could incorporate another color. It's really not a big deal. Right? Right. I just don't know what color I want to use. Not peach. I'm going for, like, a, uh, like an orangey... Let's see what Cajun, light Cajun craze looks like. might be it that's what I'm going with bear with me hopefully it, it does what I need it to I literally am just going to add to the ears kind of make it not all this color just in certain spots. Right? <laughs> Little thing. Ah. I don't know. I wish I had her picture with me or that I could look at. But I can't when I'm doing this. I'm going to leave it as is. Okay. So we use Cajun Craze. Kind of looks like a cute little cat color, right? I'm just going to make it look more furry. There we go. With some jaggedness. Because, you know, these markings are not always perfectly symmetrical. All right, so that was like Cajun craze, and it was the the chisel tip, if that's what you want to call it. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna wink up the crown. I would love to put some of that um, hmm, that gold foil on, but I'm not gonna fuss with that. Let's just use some wink. I think this is out. Wink that baby up. Lots of glitter for the queen. All right, let that dry. And there's a lot of stuff on that crown and I hope it doesn't bleed. Cause that would make me sad. I'm blowing on it. Thanks, Bonnie. Might need to get some of that glitter off, but let's see if it dries without bleeding through there. All right. So we are going to use red. But you know what? We're going to incorporate some of this stuff. Not red. Sweet sorbet. This is another amazing product. Is the Ombre Effect Glimmer Paper in the new In Colors. And you can get a package. It is item number. Oh, just dumped out all my twine on the floor. Item number 159246. Okay. Now that I just made a mess. I need my paper trimmer. That's why, because I was grabbing something and it all stuck together. Okay, Q. 
Kitty's drying. I am going to cut this down to, how do I want to do this? Half is three. I'm going to do it in a two inch strip. Two inches by five and a half because that's the length of a card. Okay, so we have that. That's a nice glimmer to it. I need a card base and I'm going to stick with the white. Actually, I think I will. Nope, I'm going to stick with the white. Thick Whisper White. I don't want to get too many products involved because if people like what I'm doing, I don't want them to have to go crazy, like I said, if they're on a budget. Let's do this one in a different format. So we're going to score it. Remember using your scoring tool on here, your scoring blade. The lighter color at five and a half. And then we're going to turn this and we're going to cut it at four and a quarter. So that I'll give you two card bases that are four and a quarter by, a, well, four and a quarter by 11. But when folded, it's going to open this way. Or it could open this way, depending on how you want it to do that. Okay, so we have our card base. Crease the ends, or the crease. You know what I'm saying. We are going to add this, but... I think I want to do some fun stuff like I did with the others, but I'm going to grab the medium size circles so that we have all these colors incorporated because I love, 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 I don't want to say medium, the next size up from the small. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. I just have to find them. Okay, so we have this one and this one, and, but I'm going to do something different. This one, and what's missing? The darker, the lighter, the orchid. Look at all these. I love this. Okay, there's the orchid. Now, we all like little Miss Queen here. I am going to take these and cut them in half. So you should be able to lay it down. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just need to cut them in half. It, like I said, it doesn't have to be a perfect half circle because you're going to be bordering that strip. on both sides. All right, so we'll do and the key is because we absolutely love all these colors, right? And maybe we don't want to do this either. Maybe I'm not going to like this. <laughs> maybe I should just use red. I say red, it's sorbet. I think I might. I think I might do this different. Hmm. Off screen. I don't know if I like it. Maybe if I left that color out. And because I'm using the other. Okay. Let's just see with it put together. It just, sometimes you just have to think things through. Sometimes it doesn't work out the way you were hoping. Sometimes it does. 
sometimes you just have to move past it. <laughs> and then she can go here with I'm going to add this here. I've changed my mind. I'll use on those on something. We're going to add this to our card front. I forgot which way the card was cut. Okay, leaving about mm, three eighths of an inch border right here. We're going to pop her up, we're going to put this here, we're going to pop this up over it. Hi Polly! And I think I'm going to stamp a sentiment right down here, and I think it's going to be a friend like you comes along once in nine lives. I should have stamped beforehand, but we're all good. I am doing a monochromatic card for the most part, with the exception of the color of the cat. Let's practice, since we're stamping on something that already has got created stuff on it. Cross your fingers. It's always dangerous to do this. Okay, happy. And all right, I got this now. We got her. Find my seal adhesive. I'm going to add this kind of off center. And we're going to add some dimensionals to this whole thing. I keep moving stuff around so that I can find it, and then I can't find it. I haven't gotten too crazy losing things though, right? <laughs> Not like usual. <clears throat> yes, I know. It's me and my crazy obsession. But you can never have too many dimensionals. I was just bragging that I had a garbage can and it disappeared, but I found it. This is kind of simple, not a lot of elements, but we're going to add some of these in the sorbet color. And you can add various ones. You can add a few. You can add more than that. I'm finding it hard to pick those tiny ones up. I'm going to go a few shades lighter because this paper is ombre. And we'll come over to the other side. And add those. And you know me, I'm funny with not using odd numbers. I'm going to take this twine, bring it up here, cut this off. We have made three cards. I have no idea how long it took me. Probably about an hour and a half. No worries. It was fun and I'm happy to be back. Yes, before I was much more organized. Didn't have to create on the fly for the most part. I had stuff um, all planned out, a sample made. We'll get back there. It's just going to take me a minute so that things go a little bit quicker. Um, 
I will be live streaming from YouTube too, but I have to figure all that out. I understand that YouTube is allowing people even with um, less subscribers than a thousand to um, now stream live. So that was exciting news for me. I, for a while, had worked very hard to try and get my numbers up on um, YouTube and it got hard and then of course life changed and whatever but are those not the cutest stinking cards ever oh my goodness just with a few like die cut images and just some blends and beautiful bright cheerful ugh, i love it love 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 these cards i am so super excited i you could do this type of card in every color um, I mean, any of these, it's just so, thank you, Bonnie. I'm so excited with how they came out and I love this Corgi. <laughs> love, love. I have a lot of traveling I want to do when I have a dog. <laughs> so it's hard to travel sometimes when you have pets. Um, thank you, everybody. Oh, hi, Linda. Um, I appreciate all of you who have stopped by and commented. Be sure to continue to comment, um, share this with your friends. And again, the Prize Patrol is a Paper Pumpkin Standard D block, a uh, Knight of Navy ink spot, and a fine tip glue pen. And I will announce, once I get my schedule in my head, actually on paper, um, my weekly schedule, I will be announcing when I will be going live each week. So let me flip the camera. I hope you really enjoyed this um, as much as I did. I loved making these and I think I'm gonna continue to craft this afternoon, the rest of the day maybe. Um, everything else can wait because that's how life goes. So um, I appreciate all of you stopping by. And I just want to, again, share these fun cards with you. Aren't they adorable with that beautiful, cute little um, Glad We're Friends stamp set? It's so much fun. I just did that so I could do a screenshot of that later and use that as my YouTube photo. <laughs> Cheated. That's okay. It's all part of the game. You it, You gotta, you gotta... Work smarter, not harder. Isn't that what we always tell ourselves? And if time is limited, well, that's the game you play. You do what you have to to make it work for you. So as um, I had heartfelt conversation with Celine the other day, um, worrying about having to potentially give this up because of time. And you know that would really, really make me very, very sad because I love it so much. And I, you know, I know I've lost people. I've lost people having interests here because I haven't been consistent. But she reminded me that it is a, how did she say it? It is a journey, not a race. Best advice I've heard in a while. Well, I've heard a lot of great advice, so don't think that I haven't. Um, but that, as far as my Stampin' Up! career as a demonstrator, that is definitely it. And it is about the journey. It's, it's not a race. And the journey with all of you, ugh, I'm so blessed. I'm blessed that all of you are part of my Stampin' community. And I am going to continue. There's hiccups in the road every, in every aspect of life. Um, it's how you manage those and how you get over those hurdles that really help you progress and become better than you were yesterday. It's not about being better than anybody else. It's being a better you. So with that, I hope you all have an amazing fourth. And maybe I'll have some extra photos for you to share later. Um, I have to get my class ready too, I'm excited. Uh, look forward to Paper Pumpkin because I do have the June kit with those cute little bags. I did order some of those bags. So I'll be working on that for my Paper Pumpkin Club. And I'll share some inspiring ideas with you as well. So anyway, happy 4th. Many stamp and blessings. Thank you for being a part of my day. 
And if you're watching the replay, thank you so much. All right. I will see you all again very soon. A schedule will be posted this week. All right. Take care. Bye.